Hello everybody, it is Andy on the mountain. And today we are going to be doing a quick overview and initial impressions of, what are these pants called? I don't remember the name of the pants. What's the name? Take two. Hey everybody, it is Andy on the mountain and today we're going to be doing a quick overview and initial impressions of the Fjall Raven pants here. Uh, the name of the pants is down below because I don't know the names of these, but yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, why did I want to purchase a pair of Fjall Raven pants? And let's, let's get the elephant out of the room. They are not cheap. These are expensive pants. I think they're $160 or $180. Uh, but I just wanted to see what all the hype was about with these pants. So I've already used them twice in the backcountry. The first time I used on a three day backpacking trip. Um, this was not any backpacking trip. This was mostly route finding. So if you go click in my videos, I'll just throw a couple clips right here. A lot of scrambling, class three, class four, class five scrambling. So this was tough terrain. It wasn't just like walking on a trail. Um, and these pants worked very well. But anyways, let's get right into it of uh, what I've noticed, the pros and cons on just my initial impressions of these pants. I mean, this is very short-term review, basically uh, four days in these pants. So let's get right into it. All right, so first things first, my favorite feature on these pants, right here. Boom, we have ventilation. Ventilation on both sides of the pants the ventilation is absolutely amazing um, when i did that three-day backpacking trip or route finding uh, i had these unvented and i also even uh brought so i cinched the bottom such as right here and then i uh i just wore them above my knees like that and they worked fine, so I had kind of like shorts and then ventilation on the side. Uh, next thing, what I really like are these pockets. Vertize these pockets right here, this one specifically for a map. And I actually carried them out and it was so convenient to have right there the whole time. And this one has like some stretchy cord in it right here so you can actually put your cell phone right in there. We also have a more durable fabric on the knees and then also on your butt here, just areas that you're gonna wear out. There is a little pocket right here with a little flap over top of it. We'll kind of do some B-roll here, but that, I think you could do like a little hatchet there, a little knife or something, cause then it'll go down all the way. Do you have two pockets here? No pockets in the back at all. Um, not really a huge deal. And then also on the front here, we have these little loops which the loops you could probably, you know, if you want to have your keys on a carabine or some people like that. I also showed you at the bottom, they do cinch around and they also have a little uh, lip at the bottom. We'll do some B-roll again, as you can see right here, this little clip, you can clip onto the shoelaces so the pants do, don't slide up. I, I love the extra durability on the knees here. You, you feel like you can do things on the ground and not, uh, see much wear and tear um the g1000 fabric for me i so far i've washed these twice to get the wax off of them i don't want the wax on them they the wax that you can buy with these which i did buy the wax um you can iron it onto the pants which then makes them more waterproof but it's not going to be as uh breathable so it's basically you're just going to sweat more and for me i uh I don't really hike in pants very often, so I kind of wanted that wax off of it for now, but you can always choose to put it back on. And then to get it off, you just wash them in hot water a couple times and then eventually it comes off. But uh, anyways, uh, I would say yes, they've been worth it so far for me. I just like that really hardcore durability. Um, really, really love the ventilation on the side here. I've just been loving that. So yeah, these pants specifically, I think they're great for shoulder season. Uh, here in Colorado right now. I can see my breath. Um, I just had my tarp set up down in the forest and temps were 38 down there and there was actually just snow as you can see way off in the distance there, snow on the 
peaks, but uh, I feel like these pants are really nice for in these conditions. Summertime, even in Colorado, I wouldn't wear these things, just way too hot. And then wintertime, um, when I'm in the backcountry in the wintertime, I'm wearing Gore-Tex, I'm wearing Gore-Tex bibs. So I, I would wear these around camp, of course, but not like if I'm doing a backcountry mission or doing an overnight trip. I don't think I will wear these in the winter. Um, again, Gore-Tex is the way to go for me. So uh, yeah, you kind of make the decision if they're worth it for you, for you. You know, the price point is super, super high, unfortunately. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.